Hello, hello. Welcome to Origin Story. Uh, congratulations on signing up and starting your NFT journey with us. When you first visit story.xyz, you'll see in the top right, there's a button to log in. That is where you will go to first access your account. This is what it'll look like once you're logged in. Um, to preface things and kind of set the stage, uh, Origin Story is different from most platforms because we allow you to do the drop under your own domain and branding. We're essentially a one-stop shop for you to uh, you know, launch your NFTs, deploy your own smart contract, and have it all done within uh, your own exclusive space. So um, I always like to use BTs as an example. Legend, uh, we did a drop with him a few weeks back, maybe a couple months back now. Um, but you can obviously see here, this is on btmusic.com, which is a domain that he obviously owns. So what we do is create a subdomain that connects to his domain, right? And that's what you see here on the right. So um, it's all editable. Obviously mine is not as pretty as his currently is, but uh, with a little bit of you know time and effort, anything is possible. So you're able to upload your banner. You can upload a logo. If you scroll down below, you'll see a few example NFTs already created here for you, just so you have an idea. Um, the cool thing about our site is you can actually denominate in both Ethereum and USD. Uh, we are actually one of the few platforms partnered with Stripe, the payment processing company. So um, pending approval from them, you're actually able to accept credit card payments for your NFTs which is awesome because it removes so many barriers to entry for you know the average consumer. Um, they don't actually have to know how to buy crypto. They don't have to know what a digital wallet is. They can literally visit this site, create an origin account by entering their email and password, and then clicking into this NFT. Uh, obviously it's currently grayed out, but they'd be able to purchase this with their credit card, uh, and then they would have their NFT, just like any other e-commerce purchase that they've made in the past. So um, that is obviously awesome. Um, and then down below at the bottom of the page, there's a section about the collection, um, about the artist, and these are also obviously editable. So I can actually enter a video, I can uh, you know, upload a video here uh, or an image. Obviously I can add text. Um, you, know, you can customize this and really make it your own. Uh, and then about the artist, if you are collaborating with other artists, you, you can also add them here. Uh, other brands, other organizations, anyone that has, you know, taken a part in making this collection come to life, um, you can obviously uh, have a slot here for them as well. And then at the very bottom, there's a section for social links. Uh, obviously, you'll want to have that. Um, that's key nowadays. So uh, all your bases are covered. That's pretty much the template. Um, and then over here on the left is almost like your control panel, right? So this is where um, you do all the nitty gritty. So let's make an NFT together. So if I click on NFTs, it'll show all these example ones that are currently here. You can manage them, right? Edit them, delete them, but let's make a new one. So I click that little plus sign and I myself am not an artist, uh, but I have a little one and a half year old puppy. I don't even know if she's still a puppy, but, uh, we're going to throw her in here. She's going to be an NFT. So upload this really quickly and boom. So this is Winnie. We're going to call her the Winna Babies and the description will be best dog ever. Uh, utility. If you buy this NFT, um, one walk with Winnie per month. Who wouldn't want to walk with her? Okay. Next, uh, is this a one of one, a limited edition or open edition. So what you're doing here is basically uh, selecting the supply. So if it's a one of one, that means there's just one unique NFT, right? This is its own thing. Maybe if you're doing a big exclusive auction, um, you would choose a one of one. Limited edition, you're setting a supply cap of some sort, whether it's 25, 100, 1,000. You're saying there's only that many of these, right? So there's only ever gonna be 1,000 of these. Open edition, you might do um, in a time frame setting, right? Maybe you'll say, I'm running this sale for 48 hours and I will sell as many as humanly possible. 
So whether that's six or 6,000, that is what the supply ends up being. I will make this a one of one because Winnie is so special. There's only one of her. Just like that, save my NFT. And now I can list. So I'm given the option to set a fixed price for this NFT or to start an auction. Um, I will set a fixed price for this one. So I'll click there. And as you can see, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I have the ability to denominate in Ethereum or in US dollars. So I will stay with Ethereum. We'll start, might as well start the sale now. Um, and the other cool piece is we will show this as one Ethereum, but we will all also show the USD equivalent of at this time, $4,500. Um, so you can actually accept both. This is currently grayed out because I'm on a demo account that doesn't have Stripe enabled. Um, but if I did, I would obviously check this box so I could accept USD. So let's just, we'll, we'll go with one ETH. Uh, next, boom, NFT listed, that easy. So now I turned Winnie, the Winnababies, into a NFT. I'll see her right here on my side panel. And if I scroll down, there she is. She's sideways, that's probably my own fault. Um, we will, she pops up right here, so that's good. Um, and you can see here the description, right? Uh, obviously whatever NFT you end up creating, you'll have your own utility or maybe it's an access token for this or that, but, um, it could also just be art. That's totally fine. So you'll see here, uh, the purchase flow is super simple, right? I can choose to, I cannot choose to buy two cause I made this a one of one. So it shows there's only one edition remaining. Um, and then right here, they would either pay with Ethereum or there'd be also a section for credit cards as well. So simple, just like that purchase, boom, I don't have any ETH, so I can't buy it. Um, awesome. So we made an NFT, uh, now the smart contract piece. So this is where we, uh, deploy our own smart contract. So the cool thing about origin story is you're able to set these parameters on previous drops. Like if you look at some of the drops origins done, you know, three, four months ago, it'll actually say, the name here under the smart contract is like origin NFT launchpad, um, which as a creator isn't ideal. Uh, obviously you want to have your own name on the NFTs that you're launching, right? So in this case, you're able to set, uh, the names here. So, you know, it could be, um, I'm just going to call it the best Yorkie and, uh, we'll make the symbol York, um, description i'll leave blank for now because i can still hit this button right but you get the idea i can drop in more images i can add a description um but this is what is going to show up so that you know seven years from now if someone comes across my nft uh the provenance is intact right so they'll know exactly who created it um and i'll have that you know because i'm going to be making tons of these pictures of winnie as nfts in the future um all right, we won't save, but uh, domain. So this is what I was talking about when I referenced BT site. Uh, essentially, you have to have a domain that you own, uh, and then we create a subdomain that you choose. It could be NFT dot, it could be drop dot, it could be launch dot. Um, it's all up to you. A lot of people like to use NFT dot because you're selling NFTs, um, but that's completely up to you. But you do have to have a domain that you own to connect this to. Site design, um, you know, this is obviously just to kind of make things, you know, pretty to to your liking, uh, the look and feel, right? You can change the theme, you can change the button colors, um, you can change the fonts, right? We'll do this one. Um, you can also add graphics to the site or social images. Um, that's all up to you. You can make this look as cool as you want. Funds, so this is... Uh, where your ETH will go from all your sales, right? So if I sold this for one ETH, it would end up in here. And then I'm free to withdraw that, whether that's to my MetaMask, my Coinbase account, some other exchange, you can withdraw it, you know, as you see fit. Um, currently, this is simply a wallet. It's fairly bare bones. But in the future, we will have a full on dashboard where you'll probably be able to see all your sales for the week, which NFTs got the most views or offers. Um, just a lot more data that you'll be able to work with. Last but not least, settings. So over here on the left, 
Um, it's just general like site information. So if you were to hyperlink your site out, uh, it would use this as the title. And then, you know, when people get a quick brief description of what this site is and what they're about to click into, they'll know they're buying, selling and trading limited edition NFTs by me. Um, down below USD payment support. This is where you would apply for Stripe. So you could accept credit card payments. Um, you actually also have the ability to export your signups. So as mentioned earlier, collectors are able to sign up with just a, um, an email, right? So um, there's two ways people can interact with your site. They create an origin account with an email and then they purchase that way or they connect via Web3 wallet, uh, specifically MetaMask, and they interact that way. The ones that connect with MetaMask, obviously we don't capture their emails. Um, but we will have the ability to prompt them in the future, you know, if they'd like to stay up to date with future drops from said creator, um, they can enter their email or, or other information as well. So, uh, point being, you have all the contact information of all of your collectors. You can interact with them directly. Um, you know, we're not keeping that from you in, in any way, shape or form. Uh, commission model. This is really cool. Stick with me. So we have two options. Um, the first is a standard commission, right? We take seven and a half percent on your primary sale. So if you were to do a hundred thousand dollars in sales, we would take seven thousand five hundred dollars. The other option, very cool. This is what I call the free option. So instead of seven and a half percent, we would take fifteen percent of your sales proceeds. We would then purchase OGN, which is our token. We lock it up for six months and then we give it all back to you. So we don't actually end up taking a commission. We don't take anything. We just ask that you invest some of your sales proceeds into our ecosystem. Obviously, uh, OGN's value will fluctuate uh, over that time. But if you're bullish uh, on the NFT space, on origin, on what I'm demoing here in front of you, um, OGN is going to be a pretty good proxy of you know, that moving forward. So um, definitely a cool option, especially, you know, given a, a lot of other platforms, you know, actually just charge 15% outright. So um, definitely something cool to consider. And yeah, that is the demo. I don't want to ramble on and on, but feel free to reach out with any questions in our Discord uh, or directly to me on Twitter. It's just at eCharles with three S's, just like you see here. Uh, and please, somebody come by Winnie. So it's only one ETH. Come on, guys.